Hello, everyone. Uh, my name's Jeff, J-E-F-F. -F. Uh, put your hand up if you're also called Jeff. OK, this is going to be a hard sell. Um, so I've, I'm here to get your opinion on a really stupid idea that I had yesterday. Uh, and I figure this is the right audience to share it with. I'm an electronic engineer and a, um, uh, a sort of designer, product designer. And uh, I used to stick LEDs to celebrities. But now I, too, am fun employed and looking for my next uh, opportunity. So it begins, obviously, with a new portfolio website, which is incredibly painful to create and very, very boring. So I was sat at my desk yesterday procrastinating around the general subject of creating a new portfolio site and thought, really, maybe I need to start with a new domain name because I've got a very boring domain name. So I thought, what about Jeff.com? <laughs> now, back in 1996, somebody already registered Jeff.com and I found that out a few years later when I was about 12 years old. Three, year, three hours into using the internet, I thought, oh, I wonder what's at Jeff.com. Damn. It's already been taken by some dude called Jeff. So I, I, I was thinking about it yesterday. I thought, well, that's probably the end of the road. And uh, I was wondering, I, I, I wondered, like, what's there today? So I went to look at the website, and it was still the same guy, but it's now just a kind of landing page. There's no content, a shadow of its former self, where originally, back in the day, Jeff had some pictures, very low resolution, of him and his dogs and the adventures that they used to go on, a kind of photo gallery website. But that's no longer there. Now it's just him so bemoaning the fact that he's not doing anything with his own website. So I think, ooh, opportunity here. Perhaps it's time for Jeff to uh, pass the baton. Now, at this point, you probably think that I'm a terrible narcissist. Uh, I promise I'm not doing this for fame. Uh, it's just a fun idea. And uh, if you don't believe me, well, you know, you don't believe me. But, uh, the good news is that it's almost certain to end in failure. So what is this idea? Like so many ideas of our time, it starts with a Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> now, this is completely half-baked at the moment, uh, but bear with me. The plan is to start a new social network for people called Jeff. <laughs> now, uh, First, my, my first goal, possibly the only goal, is to raise enough money to buy a plane ticket for me to go and visit Jeff and ask him about what the next goals are going to be in order to deliver the next goal. So it's a bit of a kind of recursive fractally type object, but that, that's where we are at the moment. I just need enough money for a plane ticket. Now, I'm not asking you for the money, but, you know, I'll buy you a pint later. Now, so what are the supporters going to get in this Kickstarter campaign? Well... Obviously, the supporters should get an email address at jeff.com and maybe a subdomain.jeff.com. What do I get? Well, I get to realize my 12-year-old and still very puerile dream of a homepage at www.jeff.com. So what does the original Jeff get? He's already got the domain. He's just sitting on it and bemoaning the fact that he's not doing anything with it. Well, I don't have much of an idea yet. I mean... The most uninteresting answer would be that each person buys their email address with some amount of money, and then that goes to Jeff. But I don't think Jeff's really in it for the money. Uh, that wasn't the impression that I got back in, you know, 1990-whatever. Um, and uh, I'm sure he's had many offers before from very much better-funded people, also called Jeff. Um, so, I don't know, maybe we'll just raise some cash and donate it to his favorite charity, or... Or maybe we'll buy him some dog treats or uh, throw a party in his honor. Maybe invite everybody called Jeff that supports the campaign and have a huge party for Jeff's. I don't know. Or other, other random people, maybe in his house. Who knows? Uh, so, so I don't really know what I'm trying to achieve. So this is why I'd like to go and meet Jeff to get to stage one of this odd recursive nightmare. Um, Maybe, maybe a stretch goal could be, uh, I take a mate of mine who makes documentary films and we, we make a documentary film about the abject failure of this ridiculous idea. So that might be another motivator for people to get involved. Um, what happens if we turn up at Jeff's door and he says no? Uh, well, that's more or less what I'm expecting and I need to think up something for that eventuality. So I'm asking for ideas there as well. 
Uh, obviously, no one's getting, going to get an email address at jeff.com in, in this eventuality. So I guess I could just give them their money back. Or uh, I make stuff, so maybe I could make them stuff. That's another option. Uh, somehow, I'll, I'll give people whatever tiny money they, they give me back. But uh, I'm not aiming to make anything out of this uh, other than what Jeff wants, which I don't think is money anyway. So I'm fully prepared for failure. All I'm looking for is an adventure, really, and a bit of experience with this weird Kickstarter phenomenon that I haven't tried yet. Um, so I haven't made contact with Jeff yet, and I'm not sure whether that's the right thing to do. Maybe I should just email him, but I'm sure he's got many people emailing him every, every year, month, day, so maybe it would be more fun to just raise a bit of interest and enough money for a plane ticket, and then I'll show up at his doorstep and... Uh, and ask him, maybe I'll bring a film crew with me, that's almost certain to result in the door getting slammed in my face. I'm not exactly certain what's gonna happen. But if you, I don't know, I, again, I'm here for suggestions. Uh, I'm not even at the point where I can form a credible Kickstarter campaign, so I'm just here gathering suggestions and mostly ridicule. Um, <laughs> so on that note, uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts about this stupid ideas. If you talk, for me, talk to me long enough in the, in the, in the pub, I'll uh, buy you a pint. And uh, yes, if you'd like to follow this ridiculous endeavor, then I, I was going to put a mailing list together, but I don't know. Maybe just uh, follow my Twitter at Jeff Makes, J-E-F-F-M-A-K-E-S. Thank you. Any questions? Over there. <laughs> well, that, that's obviously for my next project, geoff.com. Uh, yeah, maybe, sure, why not? I did consider that. <laughs> that could be a stretch goal. If I raise enough money, I'll change my surname to .com. Hey! <laughs> Sorry? Oh, uh, well, he's in, uh, he's in somewhere in the States. Uh, he started off in Silicon Valley, but I'm not sure where he is now. Yes, very likely. I'm sorry? Do you really? Oh, fantastic. Can I replace you and take your flame ticket home? Wicked. All right, I'll take you off on that offer. I'll introduce myself in a minute. My name's Jeff. Uh, I'm really only interested in Jeff.com because I'm essentially 12 years old. <laughs> Dot Jeff is interesting. I hadn't even I hadn't considered that one. Yeah. Nah, I still want Jeff.com. <laughs> I am still 12 years old. No, <laughs> far from it. I'm fun employed. <laughs> uh, uh. Social network, I suppose. Yes. Yes, it is reminiscent of that, isn't it? David Gorman is an interesting character, uh, and he had an adventure meeting other people called David Gorman. So, yeah, I, I think that bodes well. Yeah. <laughs> Another stretch goal, maybe. Have you watched any of our stand-up about Jeff? No, no, I haven't. He's got a stand-up about Jeff. I'll check. I'll check that out. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that is that is genius. Yes, I'll definitely do that. Even if we don't get the money, I'll I'll I'll, I'll have a party. Uh, well, I only had the idea yesterday, and now I'm here. <laughs> I'm tr I'm trying my best. God damn it. <laughs> I, I think the first, yeah, just getting some feedback at this stage. I, I think the main thing I'm trying to figure out is how I should approach Jeff. I don't want to scare him, appear like some crazy nutter that's just crept in from the internet, but I also don't want him to be uninterested and just dismiss me as spam. You're already getting media coverage of this. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah. Yes, that's true. Maybe that might be more compelling for him because he'd think, oh, wow, I'm, I'm suddenly in the press for some reason. Unless he hates being in the press, in which case he'll hate me. 
Sorry, Fox. We That's should it. get along. We are getting off schedule already. So Thanks. you can talk to Jeff later and you can mail jeff.com. See what happens. Excellent. I'd like to nominate this gentleman. He's got a good case. <laughs>